Welcome to the Poetry Moment, featuring Yehuda Amitai's poem, Wild Peace. I'm Shania Hudson. In this archival video, poets Barbara Goldberg and Moshe Dor both read this poem from Amitai, one of Israel's most famous poets. Goldberg reads the English translation and Dor reads the poem in its original Hebrew. The poem was featured in their collection after the first ring, Israeli Poems of War and Peace, in which American poets translated 61 Israeli poets' work. When Yasser Arafat of the Palestinian National Authority, Israel's Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, and Israel's Prime Minister Shimon Peres shared the Nobel Peace Prize in 1994, Amichai read this poem at the prize ceremony. In these lines, he coined the term wild peace, a single word, a healing word. Amichai knew both peace and war. Born into an upper middle class family of Orthodox Jews in Germany in 1924, he and his family fled as refugees when Yehuda was 11 and Adolf Hitler was rising to power. They settled in Palestine and Amichai later fought in the 1948 Arab Israeli War, the 1956 Sinai War, and the 1973 Yom Kippur War. I know that I know how to kill, he writes in Wild Peace, a poem that becomes a plea for a quiet peace, an organic kind of peace that springs from calm. The speaker doesn't want the clamorous kind of peace full of trumpets and the thud of rubber stamps. Instead, he wants a wild peace that springs from weariness of war, from people who know what it is to fight. All poetry, Amitai told the Paris Review, is political. He said, this is because real poems deal with a human response to reality. And politics is part of reality, history in the making. Even if a poet writes about sitting in a glass house drinking tea, it reflects politics. The political peace process in the Middle East seemed unending. In modern times, colonialism fanned the sparks of sectarian violence. And though the poet and former soldier Amichai longed for wild peace in the region, his yearning has not yet been fulfilled. Goldberg explains that in Israel, poets come out of the prophet tradition. Poets and prophets have the power to confront authority, Dor adds, and speak truth to power. This poem, with its simple request for peace, speaks the truth of people weary of war. If only the powerful would listen. And now, Yehuda Amitai's poem, Wild Peace. Anything. Wild Peace. Not the peace of a ceasefire, let alone the vision of the wolf and the lamb, but rather as in the heart after the excitement is over when you can talk only about a great weariness. I know that I know how to kill, and that's why I'm an adult. And my son plays with a toy doll that knows how to open and close its eyes and say, Mama. A piece without the big noise of beating swords into plowshares, without words, without the thud of the heavy rubber stamp, let it be light, floating like lazy white foam, a little rest for the wounds. Who speaks of healing? And the howl of the orphans is passed from one generation to the next, as in a relay race. The baton never falls. Let it be like wildflowers, suddenly, because the field must have it, a wild peace. That's translated by Hannah Block and Ariel Block. And now you have Amichai in Hebrew. Shlom Bav. Lo ze shel shvitat neshek. Afilu lo shel hazon zeev im gidi. Ela kemo balev achar ha itrekshut. Ledaber rak al ayifud gedola. Ani yodea she ani yodea lehamit. Lachen ani mevugar. Uvni mesachek berovetz ha'atsuim she yodea liftoach velaatsom enayim ulehagid אמא, שלום בלי רעש, קיטוט חרבות לעיתים, בלי מילים, 
בלי כל חותמות כבדות, שיהיה קל מעל כקצף לבן ועצל, מנוחה לפצעים, אפילו לא ארוחה. וזעקת יתומים נמסרת מדור לדור כמו במרוץ שליחים, מקל לא נופל. שיהיה כמו פרחי בר, פתאום בכורח השדה, שלום בר.